So watercolor is a beautiful way to express your artistic side, and it's not as difficult to get into as you might think. A new book out now called Modern Watercolor Botanicals gives readers 16 easy-to-follow lessons that will put your newfound skills to work. The author, Sarah Simon, joins me now. Welcome. Thank you, you so much. You look like springtime Thank itself. You. I'm willing it into being. <laughs> That's yes. the way we have to do it. So let's talk a little bit about how you got started with watercolors. Yeah. So I have been painting all of my life and creating and watercolor really kind of became a medium that was approachable to me as a new mom and it was something that I could paint I could leave it for a while and then pick it back up in a few hours or a few weeks however long Whatever it took. Whatever you wanted to do. Yeah it's a really accessible medium because once the paint dries all you have to do is add a little bit of water and then it's reanimated and ready to play Isn't again. Isn't wonderful? So you it's don't really have nice. to worry about it. Tell me about the new book. Yeah, so I'm really excited about my book. I designed each lesson with three different skill levels. So the idea is I teach classes um, all over the city and then I'm on a national book tour, so mm -hmm. I'm really excited. Um, but the impetus of the design was that I love when people get together in a community and they can paint together, whether they have been painting all their lives or they have a brand new skill that they want to try, they feel like it's approachable. So each lesson is designed for three different skill levels to come and sit down and we can all sit down in the community and enjoy it together. I also want to point out that you have a coloring book yes. called The Plant Lady and I we were just flipping through it. That also is truly amazing. So fun. Um, so today we're going to make yes. some botanicals and you can, you would probably draw your own. Mm -hmm. I could use one of the little patterns that you already have out. Yes. And I so, don't feel bad about that at all. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. And this is what I do for every single one of my classes. So people come and they don't have to learn to draw and paint in the same yes. night. They can just we'll learn just to do paint. One. And then it's that really relaxing way to approach a new art. There's no pressure because the lines, the form of the flower mm -hmm. is already drawn. All right. And you don't even have to do within the lines. It's not no. any of that. You're Absolutely. just filling in the colors. No. Okay. It's so fun to see what, what people to choose. Yes. Okay. So you get your paintbrush nice and wet. Okay. And then you always start with the palette. So if you can create that magic sauce I talk about in my book, um, it's kind of like a soy sauce with a mm -hmm. touch of wasabi. Mm. It's about, I love it. I love food analogies because they can kind of speak to all different people. So it's can I about, go my own way on this? Please, okay. that is all of the art. So what you want, this would be like your wasabi. So that's yeah, your really that's my, highly concentrated right. pigment. And then you just add a little bit of water. And so when you've got that movement and shine, mm -hmm. that's when you know you've got enough water to begin a wash. All right. Okay, so a wash is just a translucent color of paint on your paper, and we'll both paint this okay. one. You wanna do that? Yeah. So you just go ahead and you're going to select part of your drawing, and it's not fussy. You mm -hmm. don't have to treat it very delicate, and you get it nice and wet, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your color. I and already just, did that part. Yep, and I then missed. just drop it in. So water first. Mm-hmm, and then you and drop then, in color. Okay, and then the, the really cool thing, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And then the cool thing about watercolor, you just have to drop <gasps> it. Look at that. And it does it itself. So oftentimes, like with acrylics or oils, paint goes where you put your paintbrush. Mm -hmm. However, when you're painting with watercolor, paint goes where it's wet. So wherever there's water, your It'll paint just... is going to bleed and move in vain. That is so I like cool. to call it fireworks. Now, do I move that around or just leave it there? You know, it becomes a preference. You can, but look, you're making this really lovely mauve color. I love it. Mixing it, so pretty. I'm just going to do a little yeah, bit Yeah, like so you that. can move oh, it. You can you. add a little bit of water, and then the paint will actually move into that. Isn't that something? So Isn't some of it can be a real, here, let me just do. Yeah. And then we're just going to use water and make it very pastel-y over yeah. here, shall we? Yeah, I love it. You're already doing it. You're watercoloring. <laughs> Look at you go. I love it. It's really approachable. I really feel like it's an art that can be done. You can make cards for friends. You can make really um, just pretty pieces of art. And yeah. if you're not comfortable drawing. Cards are fun. So when, when I get the book, then mm -hmm. do I go out and get cards or how do I make sure well, I've got the, the right stuff? Yeah, so the book has actually, so what I did, again, to make it accessible, in the back is all these tracings. Okay. So you can actually trace the different flowers that you learn in the book <sighs> onto a piece of paper. You can just hold your watercolor paper over the window with mm -hmm. a little line drawing mm -hmm. behind it. Um, and then you get to trace flowers onto watercolor paper. And 
then you just go ahead and paint them. That's magnificent. Now let's look a little look bit of you. your work. Yeah, uh, we sure. have pictures of just some beautiful things Thank that you've you. done. Are you particularly into botanicals at this point? Yeah, so that's kind of become my focus. Um, we have a garden. I was actually chatting with Cisco backstage, <laughs> who's so fantastic. Um, yes, he is. He's so great. We were talking about the different plants that he brought in. Um, but yeah, so we we love to garden. Um, we, we have a green space, about a quarter of an acre, and then um, it's really been an inspirational place where we can all kind of hang out as a family, mm -hmm. but then it's also a really pretty place to just be inspired. So I get to watch and see how fl flowers move and their different textures and the way the wow. petals, and it really helps uh, kind of learn structure. So yeah. what, do you, what happens in your brain? You and I were talking about this before we came mm. on air, just the things that happen in your brain when you're doing something like this. Yeah, so it's, it's really an exercise in mindfulness. So when you're painting, the part of your brain, you called it monkey brain, I yeah. loved that. The monkey brain, the anxieties, the things that you're trying to work out, that part of your brain turns off. And you're so focused on the task of actually painting or watching color move and bleed and just paint itself on paper that that part of your brain that's worried about things turns off and you can just kind of focus on really lovely and you feel refreshed. I love it. Recharged. It's one. Of, that's why um, coloring books are so wonderful too. Again, it's that adding color. You're creating something beautiful. You're working with your hands, so you're stepping away from technology, and you're just making paint move. And you stop thinking about all those other things. Yeah. That are you going stop worrying. Mm -hmm. I can do this all day. Thank you so yeah, much. Absolutely. I love both of the books. Yeah. Up 